Freedom Pop, free internet access on the road. I can get 4G wireless access to the worldwide internet for myself and my family free of charge. Really, really free. And it works in most major cities across the USA. When I'm on the road, I use Freedom Pop as my internet service provider as described in their website at www.freedompop.com. On a good day, when I'm near one of their 4G towers, I get download speeds of about 3 megabits per second. However, their 4G coverage isn't very good between major cities. Their 3G coverage is much better. So, as an experiment, I decided to take advantage of their very low-cost offer to add 3G coverage for just $3.95 American dollars per month. And I decided to compare their free offerings with their paid offerings. I wanted to really find out whether their free services would be practical on a long road trip. And I also wanted to compare those free 4G offerings with their low-cost paid 3G offerings. Freedom Pop's, Freedom Pop's free service is limited to 500 megabytes of 4G data per month with no 3G coverage at all. Under the $3.95 monthly plan that I selected, users get better coverage because 3G is included, but those needing more than 500 megabytes per month are charged fees of $0.02 cents per megabyte for the overage. That amounts to $20 per gigabyte, and that's just too expensive for downloading movies or music. So, I resolved to monitor my data consumption very, very carefully. I wanted to know whether I could reasonably limit myself to just 500 megabytes per month. I just completed a 5,000 mile road trip, lasting more than a month. I drove all across Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, Utah, Nevada, California, and back. I had either 3G or 4G internet access at virtually every town, rest stop, restaurant, gas station, and wide spot in the highways. Uh, there were a few sections on remote highways where I couldn't get access, but in those areas I generally couldn't find another human being within shouting range anyway, and I would not have had cell phone access either. When I had 3G access, I enjoyed download speeds of about half a megabit per second. Here's the bottom line. Based on a month of on-the-road experience, I love my Freedom Pop cellular hotspot device, this right here, with its $3.95 monthly price tag, even when limited to just 500 megabytes per month. By carefully avoiding high bandwidth activities, I ended up using only about 250 megabytes by the time the month was over. But I really needed the extra cost 3G access on the road that our free 4G coverage would not have met my needs because it really isn't available outside of major cities. I knew I'd have to be careful with my data consumption through the Freedom Pump network. As in all of my prior trips, ever since Wi-Fi hotspots became popular years ago, all throughout this trip I took full advantage of free Wi-Fi access at hotels, restaurants, and retailers. I downloaded some media on the road, mostly mp3 files for podcasts, and I also watched some YouTube video clips, but I did not use the Freedom Pop Network for any of this media data, because I knew that entertainment media of this type could stream several gigabytes per hour, and that would blow through my budget in a big hurry. Back at the beginning of my trip a month ago, I kept the Freedom Pop device switched off completely, except for three or four brief intervals each day when I would switch it on while uh, zooming down the highways in order to let my tablet catch up with email or to let my wife communicate with family and friends via Skype or Haytel. However, after just a few days of that, it was clear that I could safely increase my usage a bit. I gradually began leaving the device on more and more throughout each day. And by the last week of the trip, I had it on for at least 10 hours a day while I was driving and I only switched it off when I went into a McDonald's or a hotel or some other place where I knew I had free Wi-Fi access through some kind of a public access point. Those public Wi-Fi access points continue to serve all of my needs for big downloads and media, but I use the Freedom Pop network through this little device for everything else and, and to maintain a more or less constant internet presence in case somebody wanted to contact me.